all the basic things we have discussed on that day. You, what is this uh, syllabus? How to get you get made? Okay, and how is the class actually uh, going? Through. So we start the introductory part. First, we start the uh, points because we are going to talk about the statistics. Okay. We will talk about the statistics and in statistics we will talk about biostatistics because our subject is biostatistics and research in planning, right? And biostatistics is basically known as the different nomenclature which is known as the health statistics Second one is known as the medical statistics. And third one is known as the vital statistics. Okay, so we are talking about statistics. So first of all, you all need to understand what is statistics, what is the biostatistics, okay, all this terminology we need to understand, okay. So in statistics we can say, statistics is, uh, uh, I said we need to do a introduction of the statistics, you can find out all the detailed materials, but in statistics we can define, uh, like statistics is a science which deals with data collection, data analysis, data presentation, reporting, okay, all the points are the things we can handle. Like in this class, there are 30 students in the class and we are going to first total number of students, how many boys students, how many girls students, and what is the maximum height of the students, what is the minimum height of the students, what is the average height of the students, okay? How many students come from Afghanistan, how many students from India, from Bangladesh, from Nepal, okay? So all the characteristics we are going to tabulate different, different, we can put in the tabulations, we can present all the things in the graphs, we can present in the statistical numerical analysis, right? So we used to do like this once we have a data. Like you are other from uh, Imaging Sciences students, so and if you will uh, start in the hospitals, someone may take a job opportunity in the radiology department, you may do X-ray, CT scan, MRI, all these things you will do, right? So what is your role? Why you are going to study all these points? So once you will get a job in the hospitals, so your role suppose you will work under some guidance, someone may be your boss who in charge of that particular place. Whole day you are doing the excel, okay? At the end of the day, you are in charge, your boss is going to ask you how many patients attended to the radiology for excellence, right? Then how will you do it? So you have to maintain the record of the patients, you have to make the registers, or you may you have to make the soft, soft copy. So for soft copy, you have to make you the software, you have to write that now. Serial number of the patients, name of the patients, age of the patients, gender of the patients. So all the points you have to write down once in one minute to maintain the records. So at the end of the day, you can tell them you are in charge, you know, this is the, there are 50, 50 patients that are to be in the class. Okay. Uh, class for like you know, hospitals, for X-ray, for CT, for MRI, and these are the characteristics of the patients. Some of them came from the hospital department, some of them came from the cardio, some of them came from the So, ultimately, this summary is you have to explain them, means what, whoever is in charge, about the characteristics of the patient with their proper data. So, data you may present with their proper tabulations. You may present of the different target definition, you can say they will know these are the characteristics. Characteristics are the patient. You can present with the graphical presentation. So 
So all like different geographical like presentation you can present them in detail of that data and you can some statistical methods you can apply. So are you getting what is the importance of these things? This is the very, very important for you specific as you are going to treat the patient. You are going directly associated with the patients. If you don't know these things, how you summarize and techniques, so you cannot report your findings. Ultimately, whatever it is, everybody is doing, but you are not able to explain what I am doing. Okay? So your work you have, can explain with the front of the experts committee people, hospital in charge, through the detail of the statistics as well. So statistics, as you know, statistics is a science which deals with data collection, data analysis, data presentation, definition, data presentation, and report writing with the of the concept. Now next point is coming in the bias statistics. What is the bias statistics? So say, once you are going to apply the statistical techniques, statistical tools in field of the medicine, in field of the public health, so that is known as the biostatistics. Are you getting the points? So biostatistics means suppose you are going to community survey, if you are going to know today, if you are going with the, all the accessories, whatever is required for the X-ray, you are going with the X-ray machine to go into community, you are going to do the survey, some different kind of the patient, and that analysis you are going to publish. So you can go with the biostatistics. Yes, statistics is common and all the techniques you are going to apply in with the medicine or public health point of view that's known as the biostatistics. But if you read the book, if you read the different articles, journals, reports, somewhere it is known as the health statistics, somewhere it is written as the medical statistics, somewhere it is the vital statistics. So there is a basic difference Okay. So what are the basic difference? Health statistics, medical statistics and vital statistics. Medical statistics, once you are going to apply all the concepts, all the techniques, all the methods, including all the hospitals basically, in a hospital, in a laboratory, in a clinical trials, diagnostic test, if you are going to do in the X-ray, is your X-ray sensitive? How much sensitive? How much, what is the specificity of that? Okay? So with, with help of medical statistics, you can go with that. Okay? And health statistics, health statistics, if you are going to conduct the survey, community health survey, you are going to a particular community, particular village, particular society, and you want to understand the health status of that uh, society, some demographic factors of that society. Okay, economic status, how many are healthy, non healthy, such kind of statistics you are going to conduct that's known as the health statistics. And vital statistics, one of the important statistics that means once you are going to understand what is the birth rate, what is the death rate, what is the marriage rate, what is the illness, fertility rates, all kind of statistics you are going to do that's come under the vital statistics. Okay? I hope you all are getting the points. Yes. Is this clear? Statistics, biostatistics, <coughs> statistics, medical statistics. And I have included all the details in the YouTube. If you can subscribe, there is all details written, all the points. Okay? You can find out in the details. In that case. Now, next points we will dis discuss as we are talking about the data. Okay? So, we need to understand the data. What is the data? Can you tell me about us about data? What do you understand about data? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Collection of information, particular group patients. Okay. Is it? Data. Understand? You understand this data, but how do you use this? Information of the particular Indicators, right? So data basically, that is the data you all understand. Data is basically divided into parts, which is known as the constant, okay, constant and variable. So there are 
are two terms. You are talking about the data that is the constant and variable. So, what do you understand about constant? Anyone for the class? Constant means that can't be changed. Excellent. So, the constant can't be changed. Value does not change. And variable, value can change. Okay? So, anyone can tell us that any example of the constant? Any example? This is the example of the constant that will not change. Any idea? Anyone? Constant. Yes. For example, this is like this. Okay. So we are from health related disciplines, hospitals, we try to get the answer from here. For example, the normal temperature is too much, it's constant like 70 degrees Celsius. Excellent. Normal temperature of the body, the fix, 37 degrees Celsius. Okay. Any other? Any other example? The normal temperature is the normal force, the key of the other force, the normal force. Yeah. Okay. The normal force is not right. The normal force is not right. The normal force is 6.5 to 7 meters. Okay. So, what are the normal force is not right? It takes. Okay. So, take a simple example I am just telling you. Suppose the parts of bodies, the constant, how many nose in your body, how many eyes in your body, how many legs, how many fingers, how many uh, bones, bones of the body. So these are the things, okay? So it cannot be changed. But so I hope you all got the points about the constant, value does not change. And in a variable we need to understand. What do you understand about the variable? So variable means change, like you are talking, what is the gender of this class. So there may be boys and girls, right? What is the uh, body weight of the students? What is the height of the students? What is the hemoglobin of the students? Okay? Hemoglobin level? It may be varies. What is the pulse rate? Okay? So these are the things is going to change. Place of residence, like some of you from Nepal, some of Bangladesh, Nigeria, Tanzania, India. Okay? So these are the things, so it's going to change. So same way we are treating the patients. So patient information we are going to collect, that's known as the patient characteristics or individual characteristics. So that will vary because for each patient it will not be common. I hope everyone is getting the point. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Siyar. Because you are up in this class. And he is here. He takes the message from us, right? Yeah, okay, good. So, so I hope this is what? So, this is the variable I hope you all got the points. Data, constant, and variable. Yes, Mr. Siyar. Are you from Bangladesh? Yeah. I hope you are getting the points. You just ask me why we are going to study all these things. What is the need of this? course for us. Okay? I hope you feel like the coming lectures. Because without statistics, you cannot survive. Every day, each and every moment required the statistics. Okay? You are going to purchase anything in market, you are going in a hospital, you are going in a metro, everywhere no? you count something. Number is required. Okay? So I am coming, number is required, that is known as the variable. Suppose for example, if everyone is here, everyone's face is equal. Everyone's face is equal, height is equal, weight is equal, okay? And we are talking is equal, all the activities, okay? If equal. So that means there is no variation. Are you getting the points? Yes, sir. Once everything is equal, there is no variation, all the points is constant. So why we are coming for studies? If everyone is eating same, huh? uh, everyone has equal money, equal facilities, everyone has a car, everyone is a no? Everyone can go on the moon. For example, I am talking here. So, means there is no variation, all the points are same, on the same 
point. So that's why we used to say in the statistic. If there is no variation, there is no statistics. But it is not. Because everywhere is a variation. Right? Each moment is a variation. Like we are talking knowledge of the statistic, whatever I am teaching in the class, you all are getting the points. No, you all are not getting the equal points. Some are getting it quickly, they are finding all the points. Someone wants I am critically, then they are someone tries four times I am critically, then they are getting So catching power is different as well. So that's why I am saying every moment is a variation and every moment you have to be observed. So how you can observe with the help of the characteristics, with the help of the variables. Okay? So variables is very important for you specific. So as we know variables, values change. So they are, that's why we used to study types of variables. Types of variables. Okay? So, so as we are talking about the data, data is a constant, data is a variable. If it is variable, so what are the types? Okay? So that's why we usually talk some you are talking about the quantitative matter. You can assess, you are we are going to assess, we are collecting the information of the patient. So we can collect it two ways. That is first one is known as you can collect in the qualitative manner, you can assess quantitative manner. Right? So that's why types of variable is two types. First one is known as the qualitative variable. Quantitative variables. And second one is known as quantitative variable. See, it is very interesting. Once you get study of coming lectures, you will enjoy it. Because it is very so all the your routine life, all the subjects, whatever you are studying in the class, overall course you can surprise you and you can make yourself. So now we need to understand types of variable, qualitative variable and quantitative variable. Now I give you one more example from everyone. What is the qualitative? What is the quantitative? What do you understand? How do you do this? So, yes? Quality means quality of the things, right? And quantity counts. Okay. So, okay. so just tell us one example of quality. One example. If we are collecting this information, it comes under the quality. The question is clear for. Okay, so 
as we discuss in the class what is the gender of the students what is the place of the students from where they are belong okay height of the patient height of the students weight of the students so different parameters different characteristics of the students we are collecting right so same way because always i am referring to patients because the issues given from the hospital so patients is very important our subject is the patient we are going to collect the information from the patient so quality view so quality view we can say gender of the patients right gender of the patients and blood pressure of the patients
So this just means your objective. Then how do you get the points? How do you get the answer? This is your question, objective. Uh, coming to the questions, how will you get the answer? Then you have to go through the all the record of the patient's interview or the department last one year. Then you have to calculate out of the answer to 5,000 patients which came in the radiology department last one year. Okay? So out of 5,000, how many you want for the X-ray? How many you want for the uh, CT scans, MRI? So you can calculate. So my point is that whatever you are going to do, your objective should be clear. If your objective is not clear, you will not reach your final destination. Okay? So you should know on which board you have to go in Bangladesh and where you have to land in India. Then you will reach your Sada University. Right? So your origin to destination, it should be clear each and everywhere. In your life, in your career, in your study, in your research, and particularly in your class. Okay? What is your name? Sauro. Sauro Vishwas. Sauro, I hope you are getting the points. You job this subject. They are So I will train you if you attend the class regularly. Okay? I don't know what is well, what is your chance? What is the chance of attending coming in 10 years? So that's not the probability is one. So that's just that we discuss it separately. But here the point is that you need to understand types of deliver, two types, qualitative and quantitative. Again, qualitative is two types. Remembering all these points I have prepared on the YouTube, you can watch and you can do the systematic here, but here we are discussing one to one, then you will get more clarity. Okay? So it's known as the ordinal, ordinal variable and nominal variable. Ordinal and nominal. So types of variable, two types of variable, qualitative variable. So qualitative variables, sometimes if you read the book, articles, somewhere it is written as the categorical variable. Okay? Categorical variable or qualitative variable is so common. Okay? Don't be confused. Both are the same. Right? Getting the points? Clear? So categorical is a quantitative and qualitative is two types ordinal and normal. Same way, ordinal and normal means once you are going to collect information from the patient and whatever information you are going to collect, that is in order. So that's come under the ordinal. If there is no order, so that will be in nominal. Okay? So ordinal, for example, suppose if you are going to diagnose the patients, okay, disease you are writing. So some patients is a mild level, moderate. Severe, so that category is coming mild, moderate, severe. This is in order, so that's why it is known as the ordinal variable. And if it is nominal, same way nominal, gender of patients, male, female, okay, and uh, the blood group, blood group of the patients, and place of the patients, and many more categories. This goes up categorizing, okay. And under a quality, but there is no order of that category, so that is the uh, normal variable. And here is the order, it's so order. Simple, okay? And same way, quantity variable is two types. It's two types again. Discrete variable, discrete variable, and continuous. Discrete variable and continuous variable. Discrete means if you are getting whatever measurement you are taking, you are getting the whole numbers. Okay? So that's the number that is If you are getting the decimal points, decimal points in measurement, so that's the under the continuous. Suppose if you are taking the height, height will be 5 feet, no? 3 inches, 5 feet, 4 inches. I mean 6 is, means you are not getting the whole number. Okay? So that's come under the 
uh, continuous. And we are talking the discrete. Suppose how many children in the in the members? Okay. So there are number of family members. How how many children? Some family members have zero children. Some family members have one single child. Some family members have two child. Some family members have three child. Okay. So we are getting the whole numbers. That's come under the discrete. Okay. And this continuous variable is again tight. Which is known as the ratio, ratio and interval. Ratio and interval. Okay. So the ratio and interval that means types are variable, two types, quantitative variable, quantitative variable, and qualitative variables is two types, ordinal and nominal, and continuous. Sorry. Quantitative variables two types discrete and continuous and continuous again two types interval and ratio. So this is about the types of variables. One so, important point I will tell you. Sometimes questions comes discuss about measurement scale. Discuss about measurement scales. So in that case we have to talk about the ordinal.